Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. So uh, I was doing a bit of experimenting with a new intro there. Very basic, I know, but you know, got to start somewhere. So on today's video, what we're going to be talking about is contact racing, certain moves you can do, uh, how to set up the game before you go in to make sure everything's best to your liking, because uh, no one wants an Italian GP again. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. So yeah, first thing we're going to look at is uh, moves like switchback, slipstream, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's get into it. So once again, you're going to have to excuse the hideous drawing. I'm not an artist. But what I'm going to be drawing here is an example of your simple overtake. You've been following a car down the straight, you've got in the slipstream, and you are now pulling alongside that person. Now, taking from real life rules from when I, from when I was racing myself, if you are more than half a car length alongside the driver who you're trying to overtake, that is your corner. But if you're trying to make a lunge from all the way back last minute, your best thing to do is pull back behind and uh, retry again at the next available opportunity. Because you're not also putting your car in risk, you're putting their car in risk. If they don't see you to last minute and you have a crash, well, that's on you. And if you take yourself out of the race as well, there's no one to blame but you. So what you're about to see here is a pretty textbook overtake, getting into the slipstream, pulling alongside. More than half a can't length ahead, the other driver sees, is able to move out of the way and let the move continue on. So what you're about to see here, once again, another hideous drawing, is a move called a switchback. Now what this is, is if a car is pulling alongside you to overtake and they've made the overtake, you force them to go as tight as possible into that corner. So the best thing you can do is take a wider, wider entry, a later apex, and bring yourself in tight. This way, you can sometimes be able to catch the other driver off and retake back that position you have just lost. As you can see here, drawing to the inside, and you can cut in. And this is a good way to maintain your position. This is a very extreme example of uh, when a driver was trying to overtake me. So I pull over to the left, put on my brake lights. He was trying to take me out, but you can see how this move works and could save you from a crash in future. So this is a very specific GTA overtake. This is what I call a boost regen overtake. So if you are in someone's slipstream and you're having a tr tough time trying to get by them, sit behind them in their slipstream. Just come off the throttle bit by bit, maybe even do a little bit of soft braking to keep in that slipstream. You gain the boost, and then when there's an opportunity, you boost right past, and they shouldn't be able to get back in your slipstream. So the next part I'd like to get into is setting up a lobby. So when you're doing contact races, let's say on a PS4, Xbox One, you know, the old gen, you probably only want about seven to nine racers for a contact race. This is mainly because it reduces back markers, and uh, you can have a cleaner contact experience, less lag on tracks. Uh, if you're on the PS5 servers or next gen PC, definitely you could push it up to 16 or maybe more. Uh, this is just preference to the game. It, uh, make sure you have up FPS, you don't get any lag drops, and that's just the best way to run it. Now, settings for in the game. So if you're doing a public contact race with people you don't know, low level, probably haven't raced much of it before, you're going to be quicker than them. I would honestly keep Slipstream on, but when you're racing with uh, higher level drivers, this, that and the other, it's better to actually race without Slipstream, so you can get a fair clean start for everyone, uh, you haven't got anyone abusing certain glitches with the Slipstream as it is very, very powerful in this game. As you can see in this clip here, you can just slip by people and it's easy done. So for public with random players, use Slipstream. For uh, more close quarters racing with your friends and high skill drivers, definitely turn Slipstream off. So if you're starting at the back of the grid in a public race, you're obviously going to have a lot of cars that are slower than you in front. And most of the time, your starts are going to end up looking like this. One, because the demon drag on this game, which is a glitch uh, in the game, which people have spoken about before, if you're alongside with someone then the car is just going to lag out of control and you're just going to be sent absolutely flying along with the other driver. So what you need to do is pick your gaps, maybe slow down a little bit and just find where you can make the room make it work. 
So we are now coming to the end of the video. Any more questions or queries about contact racing, please message in the comments, I will get back to you. And let's make a more fun, safe racing community for everyone where everyone can enjoy open wheels. I've been Owens Beater Beans and have a really nice day.